Good morning, friends. So today I have breaking news: millions of Social Security beneficiaries could be greatly impacted by a new bill that was just passed in the Senate. Democratic lawmakers are also now calling on President Biden to take immediate action to pass an executive order that would provide millions of Americans, especially seniors, more crisis relief aid. So, friends, please make sure to watch until the end of this video, and do share this video on social media and with your friends and family if they need more honest, stimulus news. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, please, friends, make sure you listen for the keyword in this video. And even liberal economists warned that flooding our economy with partisan spending could trigger broad inflation. Sure enough, American families have now endured nine straight months of inflation above a 5% annual pace. And the worst effects are being felt in the most vulnerable pockets of our society. One analysis of spending on household staples found that cost cutting is most pronounced among lower income Americans. As the Washington Post reported, lower income workers like Jacqueline Rodriguez have seen some of the fastest wage growth of the pandemic era. But those gains are being eroded by the highest inflation in 40 years. It's outrageous how much everything has gone up, Rodriguez said. I go to the supermarket to buy chicken and I have to make a decision on what meat I'm going to cook based on the prices. Everything is more expensive. The House of Representatives passed a new bill that could change the way that Americans save for retirement. The House passed a SECURE Act in a bipartisan vote of 414 to 5. The bill was then sent to the Senate, where it was read twice and referred to the Committee on Finance. In a statement, Democratic Representative Richard Neal said, After a lifetime of hard work, no American should face financial uncertainty in their old age. This bipartisan legislation will make it easier for workers to save and plan for their futures. In advancing this measure, we build on the positive impact of the SECURE Act and continue expanding opportunities for Americans to plan for their golden years. Representative Kevin Brady, who introduced the bill alongside Richard Neal, also applauded its passage, stating it will enable more workers to start saving earlier and give them a peace of mind in their plans for the future. The new bill would bring about several changes to the way that Americans save for retirement. For example, it would promote saving earlier by expanding automatic enrollment for employee contributions into 401k plans and 403b retirement plans. This bill would require employers to enroll their employees at an automatic 3% of their annual income, which would increase each year until hitting 10%. Employees would have the option to opt out of this plan. Not only could this bill allow Americans to start saving for retirement sooner, but it also allows them to save longer. The bill would increase the required minimum distribution age from 72 to 73 in 2022, 74 years old in 2029, and 75 years old by the year 2032. Friends, let me know what your thoughts are on this new proposed bill. And do you think this bill should be signed into law? Please let me know in the comment section below. Friends, the keyword for this video is Dragonfly. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, when I'll be giving away three $100 Walmart gift cards, friends, please make sure that you click and like several of my videos. Comment below this keyword, which is Dragonfly, and additional keywords from any video of mine that you watch. And do verify that you're also subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. Student loan borrowers are likely grateful for the extra four months of relief that President Biden just gave them. But lawmakers in Congress wanted the president to do either more or less. Leading up to May 1st, when student loan payments had been scheduled to resume, Democrats and Republicans had been pressing President Biden 
to either extend the payment pause or have borrowers resume paying off their debt. The president did the former, answering pleas from Democrats and advocates who argued that borrowers did not have enough to foot another monthly bill amid the crisis and rising inflation. In an official statement, Vice President Harris said, this pause will help 41 million people keep up with their monthly bills and meet their basic needs. It will give borrowers some urgently needed time to prepare for return to repayment. She added that she and President Biden understand that student loan debt adds stress for borrowers and their families. And so far, Biden has canceled about $17 billion worth of student debt for some groups of borrowers like those who were defrauded by for-profit schools. While for many, the fourth extension of the pause on student loan payments was a welcome relief, some Republicans and Democrats have said that continually extending the pause is just prolonging uncertainty for borrowers. Here is what lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have argued when it comes to broad action on the $1.7 trillion student debt crisis. So Republican lawmakers did not hold back about how they felt in regard to extending relief for student loan borrowers. They cited the $150 billion cost to taxpayers in the form of lost federal revenue with the previous pauses, and they said that costs would grow with further relief. Representative Virginia Fox, who's a top Republican on the House Education Committee, has called the latest extension outrageous adding that she worried it was setting the stage for blanket loan forgiveness. Many economists have also urged against further student loan relief. The Nonprofit Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget argued in a report in August that the payment moratorium should end, saying it had cost the government $52 billion annually in addition to taxpayer cost. While Democrats say that student loan borrowers need certainty, they don't think relief must end. While President Biden heeded Democrats' calls for extending the pause on payments, an additional four months of relief was not quite what those lawmakers were asking for. And they're pushing the president to implement permanent, meaningful relief. So my good friends, do you agree with student loan debt forgiveness? Please let me know your thoughts on this in the comments section below. Well, friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for everyone who's watching. I greatly appreciate all of you. Please do me a big favor, friends, and share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable and accurate stimulus information. Thank you so very much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Monday.